Hi, I'm Jesse at StroPro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the StroPro 3-in-1 Reflector Arm Holder. This is an amazing heavy-duty reflector arm holder, but it's also a stand mount boom and a handheld boom. Let's take a closer look what this is all about. Every 3-in-1 reflector arm holder is going to come with all the pieces that you see here. So let's go through these and see exactly what they are and then I'll go through some of the features of each of them. So you're going to get your boom right here. To some of you who might have a super boom already, this is going to look familiar, but we'll talk about that in a second. You're going to have your grip head. This is what makes the connection to your stand. And then we have our two, and these are the same pieces here. Uh, these are our clamps that are going to grip our actual reflector. So let's go back here to the boom. And this is very similar to our super boom, except we've made a couple changes with this foam that is removable now. And this is a really heavy duty boom. It's obviously the key part in this whole system. Much heavier duty than our previous versions. Uh, you guys were asking for that, so it could be used outside and handle a lot of wind. So that's what we've done. Uh, this is air cushioned here. So that just means as we pull that out and it comes back in, it's not going to come crashing down. When we're using it horizontally, that doesn't really matter, but because this is a three-in-one, we could be hand-holding this and have a strobe or something up top, and having that air cushion is gonna save your fingers. So we've got our three sections there. You can see if we loosen those off, they'll all extend out, and we have a ton of length that we can go on this, obviously as a reflector holder, but also as a boom. We'll just put those back in, and I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the air is compressing out of there. And that's just a really nice feature to have in this. So going to the top here, you'll probably notice this looks very familiar to our other Stropro stands, and that's because it is the same spigot. You have our quarter inch and three eighths reversible spigot here, which we can mount horizontally like that, or we can actually mount it vertically as well. And we have our flat side spigot, which we align to the screw, and that prevents any twisting of whatever accessory or light that we might use on the end there. And that's actually really helpful. The quarter inch is nice too because it can mount a microphone or small lights directly onto the spigot without any more adapters or anything. Going down to the bottom here, we've got a nice foam grip on this head. And this is actually removable for the reflector arm holder. But we have our butt stop on the end here, and this is that silver piece. And that's designed to protect this because you might be outside putting this on concrete and you don't want to destroy the end of your stand. So we put this nice piece on here. So that's going to take any scratching or abuse that you might give the stand if you're using it as a handheld boom. So that actually comes off. We can unscrew that directly here. And I won't take the full foam off right now because I'm going to show it to you in a second. But this foam will actually slide off and you'll see why that's important in a few minutes when we actually assemble the grip. So those are the features of the actual boom. Now if we go over to our grip head here, this is a full metal grip head and you're gonna notice this is a little bit different than what you might find on a C-stand. We have a really big opening here and that's important because we have to grip this big diameter section on the actual boom. But full metal comfort grip handle here, um, really easy to use, locks into position, super tight. On the other side here, we actually have two holes here, and you can see that this one is extended just a little bit past the bottom here. That little piece of extension allows us to mount this directly onto a stand and not have the clamp hit. So we'll show you when we mount that to the stand why that can be important, but you can either mount this to a standard like Stropro stand with our uh, standard spigot, or you can actually mount this to a baby pin as well, so on a C stand if you happen to have one or uh, any other stand that uses a baby pin. And to do that, we can just change this screw, this locking screw, we can take it out of the bottom, put it in the top, so you can orientate that however you need to. From there, we go into another very important part of the reflector arm, and that is our grips. 
And we've made these adjustable now, so you're no longer locked into a certain position. You can manipulate these wherever you want. So you could take a small reflector, like a 32 inch, but you could, all, you could go all the way up to a five by seven um, background reflector and hold it in position if you needed to. These are extremely strong. Uh, we've increased the tension on our clamps here, made it really strong so you can use these outside. It's not going to break like a lot of other manufacturers have little tiny plastic clips designed to hold a reflector that snap off the first time you use it. You're gonna get tons of years of life out of these heavy duty clamps. Um, and they've got rubber on them so they're not gonna damage anything on your reflector. So there you go, you have our clamps, our grip, and our actual boom. Those are the components that is going to, that are going to come with every reflector arm holder that you purchase. So let's take a look at how we assemble those now. Okay guys, here we go. We are going to assemble this now. And the first thing that we need to decide is what we wanna do with um, this foam grip here. We include it because you might be hand holding this, using it as a boom. But if this is primarily going to be used as a reflector arm holder, we can take this off completely or we have the option to cut a section just to shorten it down a little bit. So the reason why we would have to move this is because I need to mount a clamp here and we also need to mount the grip head there. So for now, I'm just going to take this off. Um, but what you can do if you decide that this is just going to be a permanent um, solution as a reflector arm holder, you can just take uh, just an X-Acto knife or just a box cutter and take off about four inches, maybe, maybe even up to six inches actually off of here and cut that off, remove it, and that's going to give you enough space on this bar to mount both the clamp and the grip head. But for now, I'm just going to take that off really easy. And again, if you are going to cut that, just come here, flatten it down, slice it with a knife, and then you can have enough room on there. But let's just take that off for right now and put our stop back on the end. And let's mount our first clamp. So we want to orientate the uh, screw with the other screws. It just makes it easier in the future. And I don't like to mount on the top here because this gets in the way a little bit. I wanna mount on the back side. So if you can kind of see, there's like a ridge. We're going on the smooth, the back side there. So all I'm going to do is back up that screw, go on to here. And I'm just kind of going to square that up with the top there. Once it's in position, all I'm doing is just cranking that down. You don't need to over tighten it. It's just going to lock in. And the reason I put it up close to the top is because when my grip head comes on here, um, I've got the most amount of leverage on the back handle here. Um, from there, I like to mount the second grip up on the skinniest section. And there's a reason for that. Let me show you here. So we're just going to basically do this in reverse, back this up here. And I'm going right against kind of the head where the spigot connects there. I'm going to back that up. Just make sure that they're squared, lined up across here. If I tighten that down again, you don't have to over tighten anything. What this allows me to do is I can loosen that off now. And this is the smallest packable position um, for the reflector arm holder. Now, if I take the spigot out, I can get a little bit more. So there you have it. This will actually fit in most stand bags. You can keep it nice and compact, fit it in your car. Whereas if I was to put the actual clamp on another section, then it's going to have to stay open a little bit more. So you can kind of put these wherever you want. There's no right or wrong. This is just the best way to keep it the most compact. So basically we're assembled. We just need to add the grip head. I'm gonna bring in a stand and show you how to do that right now. Part of the three-in-one in this three-in-one reflector arm holder is the ability to not only use it mounted to a stand, but you can actually handhold this as well. So whether you want to handhold this with the reflector attached, 
which is easy to do. Um, we can use that in this position. Essentially, you can put the foam back on that we just took off. If you've got an assistant holding this, you need to get it up really high or something and just be quick and maneuverable. Um, that's definitely something that you can do with this. But for now, we're go going to mount this to our grip head. And as I mentioned before, um, we can position this locking screw on the top or bottom. In our case, we want it on the bottom. And I'm just going on to a standard Strobe Pro spigot there. And this happens to be a 10 foot stand. I'd recommend at least a nine foot air cushion stand. Uh, a 10 is nice, just depending if you have the space available for that, because you can put like heavy reflectors on there and you wanna have the most stability that you can. Um, from here, I just tighten that thumb screw down. It's locked into position. Now we need to put it onto the arm. And I'm looking for that big opening that I showed you. And let me just position this around. You can probably see it a little bit better there. And all I'm doing, I'm going to back this off. And these pieces are going to separate. So I can see, okay, it's not far enough. Keep backing it off until that piece drops in. Once it drops in, I can take our T-handle, spin it in, and then lock it in place. I'll lock my stand in there. And now we have this mounted. So it's up to you where you want to mount the actual grip head. Usually, I'm going to mount it just a little bit closer, probably up here. That just gives me the maximum amount of leverage on the handle in the back. So you can slide that, lock it in, just kind of orientate that with the handle for now. And now we're in position, ready to add a reflector. So you don't have to mount it like that. Most of the time I actually just keep my grip head on here so I can quickly go to any stand that's in my studio, find that stand, drop it on, and lock it into place. But that's up to you whether you want to remove it for transporting or keep it attached, it really doesn't matter. The third way of using our three-in-one reflector arm holder is to use this as a stand-mounted boom. You can see that I've added an AD100 on the end here, and I could send this out wherever I wanted really easily. I'm not gonna send all the sections, but we have a ton of reach to be able to do that. Again, I can leave the clamps on if I want them or take them off. Um, but we have a lot of booms in the Stropro lineup. This one is not really designed to be used as a standalone to replace like a C-stand or like one of our more heavy duty booms. The only reason being because there's no secure way to mount a counterbalance onto that. Technically you could take a sandbag and hang it here, but we just want you to be careful that that's not gonna slide off, whereas our other booms have specifically mounted positions to secure those sandbags. Uh, this one doesn't, so just be aware of that. This is fantastic though, if you wanna put a small light on it or a shotgun mic or something, send it out. It just gives you the ability with the, oh, grabbing another stand. Um, you've got this one mounted already, you can throw it on the end quickly take this off if we don't need it, add a reflector back in, and we're good to go. So that's the third piece in our three-in-one reflector arm holder. We are ready to mount our five-in-one reflector, but before we do that, let's get this into position. I'll just hang that there for right now. So we mounted our first clamp over here so it stays stationary. Now I can just go to the next section and this is going to keep it the strongest possible because we have our next biggest diameter going out and then our next one and then our next one after that. And remember, we can take this out past eight feet actually. So whatever reflector you have, chances are it is going to fit. I mean, you could even fit our five by seven backdrop and hold it that way if you needed to. But I'm just going to roughly guess a position that we need and just kind of lock it in there. Let me just bring this back a bit so you can see it a bit easier. And I'm going to take our uh, reflector. I can see, okay, I'm probably not far enough there. So let's just go out a bit farther. There we go. 
Now you can see this one has handles, which is really nice because that gives us a really nice gripping position. So if you're using a strobe pro reflector with handles, just go right on the handle. It gives it extra support. Really nice if you're outside, but if you're not using a strobe pro reflector, that's no problem. You can just go right on to the fabric wherever you want and it's going to lock into position there. I would recommend trying to grab a bit of the um, wire rail that runs through the reflector. It's just going to get it a little bit firmer. It's not going to be so um, loose there. But for us, let's put this back on the handle. So that's locked into position. And then I'm just going to loosen this one here so you can see I bring that in, grip it on the handle. Now I'm just going to tighten that down. And I can now grab our T-handle and move that out of the way. So we've got a really firm mounting position. I can move this wherever I want and I'll talk about doing that properly in a second. But you can see how quickly and easily we can get that into position. One important safety tip I wanted to mention about this is the position of the grip head. So you always want to have the handle on the right side. So if I'm looking at my reflector here, I have the grip on the right side. It's always on the right side. If I spin over, it's still on my right side when I'm looking at the weight, um, in this case being the reflector. And what that's going to do is if this ever comes loose, it's actually going to be more difficult for it to come crashing down because when this loosens off, it's actually going to self tighten as it goes down. That's opposed to if we have the handle on the left hand side, the weight is actually working against it and it's going to loosen itself off. So it's not a huge deal when we don't have something really heavy, but the same kind of concept applies if you're working with a C stand and you've got a lot of weight, you always want that to be able to self tighten. The other thing I wanted to mention is about where we place the weight on the stand. I want to find a leg on the stand and then have the weight of my boom over that leg. If I put it right in the middle, it's going to get really tippy like that, especially if I'm not using a sandbag. Whereas if I go over a leg, it's not going to have that tipping ability. Another great thing to do, always just use a sandbag, especially if you're using this outside. It's just an extra safety precaution. It's going to save your boom and whatever you've got on it, whether it's a reflector, a microphone, or whatever you might be doing, and it's insurance that's well worth it. So we have our reflector arm holder mounted with a reflector on here. Now let's take a look at how we actually control the tilt and position of the reflector arm. So we want to go to our T handle here, which is on our grip head. I'm just going to come around the side here so you can see it a little bit better. We have this section sticking out the back here. And the reason we have that, it's easy to grip and then manipulate the actual reflector from here. So all I'm going to do is go to our T handle and I'm just loosening off that probably about one turn, three quarters of a turn, just until it gets loose. So you can kind of see, okay, there it's gotten loose. And now I'm able to tilt this up and down. I can turn it front and back. And if it's stiff, you can go a little bit more if you want. And now you can see, I can easily put that into whatever position I want. One thing that you might want to do if you're trying to underlight uh, like a model or something, maybe I need to get it at the bottom of the stand. If you just loosen off one of your stand locks there, now I can loosen that again, position it, just twist it to wherever I need it here. And there you go. I can lock it right into place. So to get it back, again, just loosen. And then I've got the leverage on the back here of the boom lock it in position, and it's gonna grip nice and tight. So it's really easy to get the reflector into the exact position you want. It's gonna stay there, and you don't have to worry about it moving. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the Strobe Pro 3-in-1 reflector arm holder. This is a heavy duty reflector arm holder. It's the best one on the market, tons of grip strength, and it's gonna last you for years. We can use it to hold the reflector, Plus, we can also use it as a stand-mounted boom or take it off the stand completely and use it as a handheld boom. 
So check out all of our options at strowpro.com and until next time, enjoy creating.